We're going to get started now, folks. We do have um, another hearing today, law and government. We have the hearing committee to hold when we come back. So if we can expedite today's council session as best possible, it would be very helpful. Um, we will get started. <clears throat> um, I'd like to say to give our invocation this morning, the chair recognizes executive pastor Maya Abrams of Church of Christian Compassion. He is here today as the guest of Councilwoman Gaudier. I would ask all members, guests, and visitors, please rise. Morning, everybody, to the president and all the members of council. Again, I'm Pastor Abrams, and I will be offering your invocation prayer. Uh, let's govern ourselves for prayer. Um, Heavenly Father, we do thank you this day. Thank you for um, life, health, and strength. Father, we thank you um, that you are our God, and um, you, you are the God of unfailing love and faithfulness. At times, you've been better to us than we've been to you and or ourselves. As we face this day, God, we know we face some triumphs and some discouragements. We face some celebrations and some challenges, but through it all, we declare that you are good. I pray that you would give this council and all um, of the volunteers the wisdom that it needs to take care of everything that is on the agenda, God. Let us not ever dare lean on our own understanding, but we trust you in all our ways, God. Thank you for this day once again. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Pastor, thank you so much for your spiritual guidance today. We really appreciate it. Council will be at ease. Thank you very much. And Pastor, again, thank you so much for your invocation this morning. Our next order of business is the approval of the journal of the meeting on Thursday, May 25th, 2023, and the chair recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, May 25th, 2023 be approved. Thank you. It's been moved and properly second that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, May 25th, 2023, stand approved. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And our journal is approved. And our next order of business is request for leave of absence. And the chair recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of members of council, there are two requests for leaves of absence today. Member Vaughn and Member O'Neill. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Leave shall be granted. Thank you so much. And now our chair recognizes Councilman Squilla for a motion concerning certain legislative matters that were not possibly not advertised or prior to the course of today's session and weren't listed on the calendar today. Councilman Thank Squilla. you, Mr. President. I move that any of the following matters, if considered today, may be added to the agenda for the session of Council and is required by law, subsequently published on an amended agenda after the consideration of those matters. Resolutions authorizing hearings, amendments to bills on first reading, the reconsideration of a bill vetoed by or recalled from the mayor, amendments to bills recalled from the mayor, resolutions taking substantive action to be voted on in this session, a motion to withdraw a bill or resolution that is not on the calendar, and the motion placing a bill or resolution on or returning a bill or resolution from the suspension calendar that is not listed on today's calendar. 
The purpose of this motion is to provide the public with notice concerning possible actions by Council that arose too late to be included in the calendar that was published prior to today's session. Thank you. It has been moved and properly second that the legislative matters stated by Councilman Squiller may be added to the agenda for today should those matters arise during the course of today's council session. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And the motion passes. And our next order of business is communications. I would ask the clerk to please read the messages from the mayor and any additional communications that he may have in his possession today. From the mayor to the president and members of the Council of the City of Philadelphia, I am pleased to advise you that on June 7, 2023, I signed all the bills which were passed by council at its session on May 25, 2023. Is that it? Thank you, Mr. Decker. And our next order of business is the introduction of bills and resolutions. And I would ask that Mr. Decker, please read the titles of the legislation that's being offered today by our members. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson, Richardson offers a privilege resolution recognizing June 2023 as Black Music Month in the city of Philadelphia. Today's calendar. Councilman Thomas offers three resolutions. A privilege resolution honoring the life and legacy of Ted Sillery for his lifelong dedication to the city of Philadelphia's athletic community as a high school sports reporter. Today's calendar. And a privilege resolution honoring and congratulating the restaurant Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Chef Chateautip Nok Suntarun of Kalea and restaurateur Ellen Yin for being named 2023 James Beard Award winners. She recognizes Councilman Thomas. Good morning, Council President. Good morning, colleagues. I know it's been an eventful morning, but I did want to take a moment to at least uh, say thank you to the family of Ted Sillery. Both Kristen and Kevin are here, his children. Um, as we recognize Ted Sillery for being the phenomenal journalist, uh, storyteller, and actually highlighter of great young people all across the city of Philadelphia for over 40 years, writing for the Daily News and other outlets, but most importantly, having his own website that put young people in a position to be able to get scholastic uh, support, athletic scholarships, and other things like that. So please join me in welcoming and thanking the family of Ted Sillery for being here with us today. Can you stand up so we can give you a round of applause, sure. please? Kristen and Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you, Council President. Thank you, Councilman. And a privilege resolution honoring and congratulating Philadelphia native Kristen Walker for being named the next moderator of the legendary Sunday morning show, Meet the Press. Today's calendar. Councilman Jones offers seven resolutions. On behalf of Council President Clark, a resolution, a, a non-privileged resolution authorizing the Philadelphia Land Bank to dispose of 1901 North Ringgold Street, 1910 North 24th Street, located in the 5th Councilmanic District. And a non-privileged uh, non resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority deeds conveying fee simple title to 815 West 1st Street in the 5th Councilmanic District. Next week's calendar. And a non-privileged resolution, resolution also naming the 2200 block of 29th Street as Henry Sly Slay Way. Next week's calendar. And on his own behalf, Councilman Jones offers a privilege resolution congratulating Philadelphia Soccer 2026 and FIFA for their unveiling of its official branding, We Are 26. This week's calendar. And a privilege resolution honoring Leslie Mason, principal of Thomas Mifflin Elementary School on the occasion of her retirement. This week's calendar. And a privilege resolution authorizing the City Council Committee on Public Safety to hold public hearings to examine the use of face masks, also known as pushistas, as well as oversized bandanas and ski masks Thank you. during the commission of crime and to examine strategies to combat this threat. Interesting. Uh, this week's calendar. Councilman, do you want to be recognized now? Yeah. Hey, and it's pushisty for the record. <laughs> but um, what I would like to briefly recognize is that uh, we are, uh, we once were a city that people passed by on the way to New York, or on the way to DC, and didn't really stop. But over a period of time, we've been able to establish ourselves as a world-class city, as amplified by the selection of Philadelphia for the World Cup. And I wanted to recognize uh, Ms. Kane and Mrs. Jones, uh, who are a part of that. And would you please rise and so that we can acknowledge your progress.
Thank you, Mr. President. I would not have been able to go home. Thank you, Councilman, and thank you for being here today, boss lady, as I affectionately call her. Right. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on a second, Mr. Decker. Chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Yeah, thank you, Council President. Um, I want to echo the sentiments of my colleague as we recognize, um, I would call it the power behind the throne here in the city of Philadelphia. Rather, it was bringing the Pope here to the city of Philadelphia or the NFL draft or made in America. Um, Giselle Jones is always on the front line of making sure we represent the best that the city of Philadelphia has to offer, not only locally, regionally, but also globally. And so I also want to concur with my colleague and say, let's give her a round of applause for her leadership in the city of Philadelphia. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Jones also offers a privileged resolution authorizing the City Council Committee on Education to hold public hearings examining parent universities and their potential impact on student education in Philadelphia. Day's calendar. Councilman Johnson offers a privileged resolution recognizing the week of June 5 through June 9, 2023 as Union Organizing Week in Philadelphia in honor of those who have fought and continue to fight on behalf of workers' rights to organize and bargain collectively. Today's calendar. Councilman Harrity offers a privileged resolution honoring John Stephen Clark for his acceptance into all five military service academies and, and enrolling at the United States Air Force Academy. Today's calendar. Chair recognizes Councilman Harrity. Good morning, Council President and colleagues. I'm happy to honor John Clark for his tremendous achievement in being accepted to all five of our nation's military service academies. John is here today with his parents. I'd ask that they stand so that we can recognize, so that they can be recognized. In a few weeks, John will attend the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It is always great when we can celebrate our kids when they do amazing things, especially John, who is multi-talented as a student, an athlete, and a leader. John is also going to lead the Father Judge Baseball in the st uh, state high school playoffs. Let's hope that John can come back with his team and we can honor them again for bringing a state championship back to Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman, and thank you for your anticipated service. Chair recognizes Councilman Driscoll. I, too, want to congratulate the Clark family and John. Uh, boy, if, if, if this new generation come up as anything like this young man, we, we got a lot to be proud of. And Father Judge High School is in my district, Mr. President, and uh, they're producing some fine young men uh, into this world. So congratulations, Clark family and John, and best of luck in your service. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Gaudier offers three resolutions. A non-privileged resolution authorizing the Philadelphia Land Bank to dispose of 759, 761, 763, 773, 779, and 783 Palace Street and 4041 Cambridge Street located in the 3rd Councilmanic District. Next week's calendar. And a non-privileged resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the Mantua urban renewal area, identified by house numbers and street addresses as 3701 Brown Street, 3703 Brown Street, 3705 through 3711 Brown Street, 3713 through 3717 Brown Street. Next week's calendar. And a privileged resolution honoring and congratulating the Central High School Robotics Team, the Robo Lancers, on winning the first Impact Award, the highest honor in FIRST Robotics. This week's calendar. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Gaudier. Thank you, Council President. Very briefly, I just wanted to acknowledge the Central High School Robotics Team for their wonderful accomplishment. Um, we had about 40 of uh, members of the robotics team here today. Um, they're recently back from a world championship in robotics um, where they won the first impact award. And I think it's important to note that they not only won for their skill in playing chess, uh, sorry, sorry, their skill in robotics, it's been a long night, sorry. 
Um, they also won for how much they practice equity. So their team developed a nonprofit, they've raised a ton of money, and through their nonprofit, they support robotics teams um, across our city uh, at public schools. Um, and so I just thought it was really important to highlight them. They had to leave because we started on a delayed time, but um, I, I just think we're all really proud of them and the good they're doing across the city. And also, um, they're here from my alma mater, 255. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman Driscoll offers an ordinance amending Title 12 of the Philadelphia Code and Title Traffic Code by providing for prohibitions relating to drifting and for penalties and enforcement. Today's calendar. What's that? A bill. Bill, I'm sorry. Further to committee. I'm chair recognizes Councilman Driscoll. Uh, briefly, Mr. President. Uh, this bill is meant to show that actions have consequences. Over the weekend, we saw gatherings with hundreds of people engaging in reckless activities in their cars. The young man on I-95 lost his life. The individuals at Cotman and Tarsdale were risking the lives of hundreds. These reckless activities do not only ruin the day of those living in the surrounding community, they can ruin lives. An 18-year-old lost his life after drifting on I-95. In my district, hundreds could have been injured or worse. Through stronger enforcement and punishment in conjunction with street design meant to slow traffic, we can not only improve quality of life, but indeed save lives. Our streets and, public are, and all public spaces are meant for everyone, not a select few treating them as their own amusement park. It is simple. If you engage in these activities and we catch you, you will owe two thousand dollars and you may never see your car again. Thank you to my co-sponsors, Councilman Mark Squilla and Councilwoman Catherine Gilmore Richardson, and thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. The bill is referred to committee. Councilman Squilla offers four bills and three resolutions. And how did an ordinance Authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of City Plan Number 308 by striking from the City Plan and vacating Addison Street from a point approximately 80 feet east of Fifth Street to its terminus further eastwardly therefrom, and an ordinance amending Chapters 12900, Parking Regulations and Penalties, and 122800, Administrative Adjudication of Parking Violations of the Philadelphia Code, to revise requirements, limitations, and fines with respect to angle parking, and an ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of City Plan Number 146 by striking from the City Plan and vacating Moore Street from Beach Street to Allen Street and Allen Street from Moore Street to its terminus northeastwardly therefrom, and an ordinance adding a new Chapter 12, 3600 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Camera Based Enforcement System for Parking, Stopping, and Standing Violations that Interfere with mass transit to decrease traffic congestion, improve traffic safety, and address the climate crisis within the city of Philadelphia. Those four bills will be referred to the appropriate committees. And a non-privileged resolution supporting, uh, showing support for Philadelphia Haitians, Team Haiti, and Haitian Americans during the crisis in, in the nation of Haiti, and urging the administration of the city of Philadelphia and Philadelphia City Council to demonstrate unwavering support for the people of Haiti. Next week's calendar. And a non-privileged resolution also naming South Broad Street between Lombard and South Street, Jerry Blavitt Way. Next week's calendar. And a privileged resolution honoring and congratulating the Philadelphia Masonic Temple on its 150th anniversary celebrations and the rededication of its historic building. This week's calendar. There are no other bills or resolutions being offered today by the members, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. Decker. That concludes our introduction of bills and resolutions and our next order of business is reports from committee and the chair recognizes councilman thomas for a report from the committee on streets and services thank you council president the committee on streets uh, and services reports out 38 bills with a favorable recommendation okay thank you councilman <laughs> my bills. mr decker please read that report to the President and members of the Council of the City of Philadelphia, the Committee on Streets and Services, to which is referred Bill Number 220576, entitled an ordinance authorizing Howard Foreman to install, own, and maintain various encroachments, including, but not limited to, a proposed fence and other structures at 1338 through 44 Rising Sun Avenue and other locations abutting the Caribbean Feast Restaurant. And Bill Number 230049, entitled an ordinance authorizing 
the construction, installation, ownership, use, and maintenance of a sidewalk cafe at 425 through 449 Spring Garden Street. And Bill number 230129, entitled an ordinance authorizing the paving of Boston Place from 10th Street to 11th Street. And Bill number 230151, entitled an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on both sides of Port Royal Avenue between Henry Avenue and Old Line Road. And Bill number 230185, entitled an ordinance amending section 12, 919 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled on street parking of boats, motorhomes, truck campers, and vending carts by providing for further regulation of semi-trailer and truck tractor parking. And bill number 230187 entitled an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on both sides of Conshohocken Avenue between Belmont Avenue and City Avenue. And bill number 230188 entitled an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on both sides of Lancaster Avenue between Woodbine Avenue and Sherwood Road. And bill number 230189 entitled an ordinance establishing parking regulations in the vicinity of Tower Street and Pensdale Street. Ripker Street and Wild Street, Mansion Street and Hermitage Street, Green Lane and Maniunk Avenue, Lauriston Street and Markle Street, Terrace Street and Roxborough Avenue, Dexter Street and Monastery Avenue, Cotton Street and Maniunk Avenue. And bill number 230202, entitled an ordinance establishing park regulations in the vicinity of Camac Street and Sesley Avenue, Rising Sun Avenue and North 13th Street, Victoria Street and Germantown Avenue, North 13th Street and Luzerne Street. And bill number 230203 entitled an ordinance establishing park regulations in the vicinity of George Street and North 4th Street, George Street and North 2nd Street, Shackham Street and Gerard Avenue, Ridge Avenue and Mount Vernon Street, American Street and Poplar Street, North 4th Street and Poplar Street, Mount Vernon Street and North 11th Street. And bill number 230204 entitled an ordinance establishing park regulations in the vicinity, in the vicinity of Green Street and North 16th Street, Mount Vernon Street and North 15th Street, Mount Vernon Street and North 16th Street, Mount Vernon Street and North 19th Street, North 15th Street and Fairmount Avenue, North 23rd Street and Fairmount Avenue. And bill number 230205 entitled an ordinance establishing park regulations on both sides of Conshohocken Avenue between Monument Road and Falls Road. And bill number 230206 entitled an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on both sides of 66th Street between City Avenue and Woodbine Avenue. And bill number 230207 entitled an ordinance establishing parking regulations in the vicinity of Chadwick Street and Washington Avenue. South 26th Street and Bainbridge Street. And bill number 230208 entitled an ordinance, an ordinance amending the Philadelphia Code by adding a new section prohibiting the parking or maintaining of semi-trailers and truck tractors at residential properties. And bill number 230248 entitled an ordinance establishing parking regulations in the vicinity of Arlington Street and Ringgold Street, Wellington Street and Mo Montgomery Avenue, Grat Street and Fountain Street, Stiles Street and North 15th Street, North 19th Street and Burke Street. And bill number 230272 entitled an ordinance establishing park regulations on both sides of North Carlisle Street between West Gerard Avenue and Poplar Street. And bill number 230273 entitled an ordinance amending section two of an ordinance, bill number 200578, approved January 20, 2021, entitled an ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of city plan number 46S. By striking from the city plan and vacating Penrose Ferry Road, from Penrose Avenue to its terminus northeastwardly therefrom. And bill number 230274 entitled an ordinance establishing parking regulations in the vicinity of Camac Street and Johnston Street. And bill number 230275 entitled an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation in the vicinity of North 51st Street and Brown Street. And bill number 230306 entitled an ordinance authorizing the installation, ownership, and maintenance of various encroachments in the vicinity of 3931 Walnut Street. And bill number 230320 entitled an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on the westwardly side of Belmont Avenue between Monument Road and Conshohocken Avenue. And bill number 230325 entitled an ordinance authorizing encroachments in the nature of pedestrian light poles with the accompanying LED luminaires and concrete planter boxes in the vicinity of 1325 North Beach Street. And bill number 230326 entitled an ordinance authorizing Northern Liberties Business Improvement District to own, operate, and maintain certain lighting encroachments along the 400 and 500 blocks of 2nd Street. And bill number 230358 entitled an ordinance revising park regulations for the north side of 49th Street, Pascal Avenue to Grays Avenue, the east side of Grays Avenue, 49th Street to Lindbergh Boulevard, 
and the east side of Lindbergh Boulevard, Grays Avenue to Harley Avenue. And bill number 230359, entitled an ordinance delegating to the streets department the authority to establish certain parking restrictions by regulation on both sides of Walnut Street between 40th Street and 63rd Street. And bill number 230402, entitled an ordinance amending section two of an ordinance, bill number 180560, entitled an ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades in a portion of city plan number 250 by striking from the city plan and vacating the legally open portion of Montour Street from Adams Avenue to Falkrod Street, by extending the period for compliance with the terms and conditions stated therein. And bill number 230404, entitled an ordinance authorizing the Procurement Commissioner to enter into a contract for the construction of a sewer and a pertinent work required to provide public sewer service in the 1200 block of North Newkirk Street. And bill number 230405, entitled an ordinance establishing parking regulations in the vicinity of North Street and North 15th Street and North 19th Street, Page Street and North 16th Street and North 20th Street and North 23rd Street, Monument Street and North 17th Street. And bill number 230406 entitled an ordinance authorizing the installation, ownership, and maintenance of various encroachments in the vicinity of 1907 through 1915 Walnut Street and 1904 through 40 Sansom Street. And bill number 230409, entitled an ordinance amending section 12701 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled designation of bicycle lanes to authorize a bicycle lane in each direction on Bartram Avenue from 84th Street to Essington Avenue. And bill number 230415, entitled an ordinance amending title 12 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled traffic code by providing for prohibitions relating to nuisance vehicles and for penalties and enforcement. And bill number 230416, entitled an ordinance amending section 12701 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Designation of Bicycle Lanes, to authorize a bicycle lane on East Market Street from 2nd Street to 6th Street. And bill number 230417, entitled an ordinance amending section 12701 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Designation of Bicycle Lanes, to authorize a bicycle lane in the southbound direction on North 2nd Street from Ray Street to Market Street, and removing a travel lane on North 2nd Street within the same limits. And bill number 230436, entitled an ordinance establishing park regulations in the vicinity of Randolph Street and Cambridge Street, Parrish Street and North 13th Street, Oriana Street and Poplar Street, Oriana Street and George Street. And bill number 230438, entitled an ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of city plan numbers 230 and 289 by striking from the city plan two irregularly shaped areas, one located along the northeasterly side of Ridge Avenue and extending from a point northwest of the Wissahickon Creek to a point approximately 424 feet further northwesterly therefrom, and, and the other located on the southwesterly side of Ridge Avenue, extending from a point northwest of the Wissahickon Creek, northwestwardly to the southwesterly side of Main Street, thereby widening said Ridge Avenue. And bill number 230439, entitled an ordinance adding a parking regulation on North 31st, 34th Street between Indiana Avenue and Commissioner Street, and bill number 230444, entitled an ordinance authorizing encroachments in the nature of a sidewalk cafe in the vicinity of 4333 Spruce Street. Respectfully reports it as considered the same and returns the attached bills to council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Decker. Chair recognizes Councilman Thomas. Thank you, Council President. I move that the rules of council be su suspended so as to permit the first reading this day of the 38 bills that were just read into the record by the clerk. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and properly second that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of the 38 bills just read by the clerk. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. Motion carries and these bills will be on our first reading calendar today. Chair now recognizes Councilman Driscoll for a report from the Committee on License and Inspection. Thank you, Mr. President. The Committee on License and Inspections reports out one bill with a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. Decker, please read that report. The Committee on Licenses and Inspections to which was referred bill number 230271 entitled, an ordinance amending section 9105 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Penalties, and chapter 94400 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Responsible Business Operations, to further define nuisance businesses, provide for additional enforcement and penalties, and make certain technical changes. Respectfully reports, it has considered and amended the same and returns the attached bill to council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you. The chair again recognizes Councilman Driscoll. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the rules, the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading 
this day of bill number 230271. Thank you. It has been moved and properly seconded that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading of 230271. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. And this bill will be on our first reading calendar today. Chair now recognizes Councilwoman Bass for a report from the Committee on Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs. Thank you, Mr. President. The Committee on Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs reports out two bills and one resolution with a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Councilwoman. Mm -hmm. Mr. Decker, please read that report. The Committee on Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs, to which was referred Bill Number 221016, entitled an ordinance naming and designating the Chew Playground Basketball Courts, located at 1800 Washington Avenue, the Rasual Butler Basketball Courts, in honor of Point Breeze native Rasual Butler, who distinguished himself over a 14-year NBA career, most notably with the Miami Heat. And Bill Number 230324, entitled an ordinance officially renaming and designating Bridesburg Park, located at 3101 Orthodox Street in the city of Philadelphia as Robert A. Borsky Park. And resolution number 230461 entitled a resolution approving the rebuild project statement for fiscal year 2024, pursuant to bill number 170206. Respectfully reports it has considered the same and returns the attached bills and resolution to council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you. The chair again recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President, I move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of bills number 221016 and 230324. Thank you. It has been moved and properly seconded that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of bills number 221016 and 230324. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And these bills will be placed on our first reading calendar today. Chair again recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit consideration of resolution number 230461 on today's final passage calendar. Thank you. It has been moved and properly second that the rules of council be suspended to permit consideration of resolution number 230461 on today's final passage calendar. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And resolution number 230461 will be placed on today's final passage calendar and it will be held and it will be held until the next session of council. That com concludes our committee reports and our next order of business is consideration of the calendar. I note that the bills just reported from committee with the suspension of the rules have, have been deemed to have had their first reading. They will be on our second reading and final passage calendar at our next session of council. There are no additional bills on our first reading calendar. So the chair recognizes Councilman Jones for the purpose of calling on bills and resolutions on final passage calendar today. Thank you, Mr. President. The following resolutions and bills are being called up from second reading to final passage calendars today. Numbers 230-423A, 230456, 230458, 230465, 230466, 230470, 230250. 230 230-270, 230-308, 230-318, 230-319, 230-322, and 230-323. All other bills and resolutions are being held. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. Before we uh, consider these bills and resolutions today, uh, we will have our public comment session and we'll go as follows. Your public comment must concern matters on the second reading and final passage calendar for action today. All speakers must sign up in order to testify. If you have not already done so, you may sign up um, at the table outside with the Sergeant of Arms outside the council chamber. Once you sign up, you'll be called in order of which your name appears on the sign up sheet. Today, you will have three minutes to testify, um, there is a device um, on the podium. Um, let's see it there. Uh, on that device, there will be lights. When the light turns green, it will be your time to speak. And when the light turns yellow, you will have 30 seconds to conclude your remarks. Um, when the light turns red, we'd ask that you please adhere to our guidelines and conclude your remarks. I um, would like to thank you very much for your anticipated cooperation and 
your willingness to participate in your government in action. Mr. Decker, will you please call the first name on the list? The first speaker today, Mr. President, is the Reverend Gregory Holston, commenting on 230323. Good, good afternoon. Good, af good afternoon, Reverend Gregory Holston. I'm here, uh, first of all, on the um, bill around affordable housing. Of course, we support that bill. Of course, I support that bill. I'm coming here today in, as a part of the coalition called 57 Blocks. We had an opportunity to speak to all of you in December of this year, of last year, excuse me, uh, in reference to a very detailed strategy around gun violence. Part of that gun strategy deals with affordable housing and make that more clear for those communities. 57 blocks are 10 or more shootings that have occurred on those blocks since 20, 2015. Uh, within a quarter mile radius of all of those 57 blocks, you have 30% of all the homicides in the city on only 5% of the land mass. That means with a real targeted strategic approach, you could target those areas with dollars and make real transformational change happen in those communities that would affect the gun violence numbers for the entire city. We brought that proposal in December and had a beautiful briefing with many of you, and many of you indicated support for that, that project. Unfortunately, it does not appear that this may not be in this particular budget. Um, that is disappointing. I don't know all the details why that did not happen, uh, but I'm hopeful that something can be worked out. But I will tell you one thing you can do right now as council. Your fellow colleagues at the state level are considering the same proposal. They have told me they want to hear about 57 blocks and how you feel about it as a strategy. You can make a call to your own colleagues, the state reps and state senators that are in your area, and tell them now, you want this proposal that is strategic, that is necessary, that will save lives. One story from many of the uh, people we've talked to, because this is a community-led proposal, it comes from the community. One person said it this way, I love the children in my neighborhood. I've been spending 20 years working on youth programs in my neighborhood. And I watched them play basketball, I watched them play football. But when they closed down Germantown High School, their dreams of going on to play football and basketball were destroyed. And many of them turned to gun violence and use gun violence today as the way they handle sports. They even keep count, they even keep numbers. I'm saying to you, that barber in that area needs, sits on one of these 57 blocks. He works on that block and he needs the resources to reach the children in that neighborhood. That's what this proposal would do. It would put the hands on, in community folk, in community level to make a difference in the lives of people. Please help us. If you cannot do it in this budget, which I really hope you can, at least call your state counterparts and let them put it in the state level so we can make a change for our city. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you for your testimony. <clears throat> the next speaker is Deanna Williams, commenting on a resolution introduced today by Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Good afternoon. Greetings. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon, Mr. President, distinguished members of City Council, Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. And yes, thank you so much for affording me the opportunity to remind us all of the grandeur of the city of Philadelphia. Specifically, my co-founder, Kenny Gamble, one of the architects of the global sound of Philadelphia. He and I and broadcaster Ed Wright 
are the co-founders of June Black Music Month, now in its 44th year. A lot of people don't know that, but you need to know that it was established, created here by Kenny Gamble and myself. And on May 31st, President Joe Biden issued a proclamation recognizing the grandeur, the majesty of America's indigenous art forms created by black people right here in the United States. For us in Philadelphia, a specific feeling of pride in that we are the first, we were the first capital of this country. So dating back to the 1700s, black music has been a voice, a force to be reckoned with, a cultural asset that we export around the globe. And it is also a multi-billion dollar business. I would like to encourage city council to remember the power of music, especially when it comes to our young people. When the Reverend was just speaking, my heart was just to hear what he had to say. The growing gun violence could be stemmed with music. Our recreation centers, our children are about to get out of school. What are the options for them? I would like to present to City Council that music is a healing force and something that young people love. We need to have music studios in our recreation centers. We need to give young people an alternative. And black music is my lane. All music is important. But I'm here today to thank City Council for recognizing Kenny Gamble and myself. We are residents of Philadelphia, and especially to Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson for taking the initiative to present this proclamation, this resolution before Council. So thank you so much, President. Thank you as you get ready to retire. Thanks to all of you. This is the seat of government, and it's so impressive the work that you are doing in our community. There's so much more to do, but I want to remind you that music is a panacea. It is part of the cure for all of the things that ail us in our communities. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you for your work. The next speaker is Reverend Tyrone Williams, commenting on 230423. Good afternoon. Tyrone Williams. Good afternoon, Council President Clark, members of City Council. I'm here to speak on Resolution 230423. Just to give you some points about this resolution, Council President Clark held several community meetings in the past to solicit input from residents on their ideas for vacant lots and overgrown pockets of parts in the areas of 30th Street to 33rd and York through Huntington. The response at that time was very low. Council President then proposed affordable housing units on those parcels. The Strawberry Mansion CDC, which I am the program project manager for and work for, assembled community stakeholders and submitted a checklist of community benefits to the Council President, Darrell Clark. He responded by identifying the things he could possibly do and things PHA and Penrose could possibly do as well. The Strawberry Matching CDC, and I had Mr. Lawrence Battle for the Strawberry Matching Neighborhood Action Center, and a host of residents, which I am one, support the opportunity to expand the affordable housing opportunities in Strawberry Matching. And I conclude that there is room for multi-living multi in Strawberry. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony.
The next speaker is John Clark. Mr. Clark. I had to, he had to go? Okay, thank you. There are no other speakers on the public comment list, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. Decker. <clears throat> that concludes our public comment session for today. We will now, we now consider uh, the bills and resolutions on the final passage calendar. <clears throat> Mr. Decker, will you please read the title of resolution number 230-423-A. A resolution authorizing the Philadelphia Land Bank to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Housing Authority a deed conveying fee simple title to 2338, 2340, 2408, 2410, 2412, and 2500 North 31st Street, 2401, and 2549 and a half North 32nd Street, also known as 2551 North 32nd Street. 3230 through 38 Diamond Street, 3010, 3012, 3014, 3013, 3108, 3110, 3112, 3200, 3202, 3204, 3206, 3214, and 3222 West York Street in the 5th Councilmanic District. Thank you. The Chair recognizes Councilman Jones for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. Motion carries and that resolution is adopted. Mr. Decker, 230-456. A resolution confirming the appointment of Eleanor Hader to the Board of the Philadelphia Energy Authority to serve in the term ending January 1, 2028. Chair recognizes Councilman Thomas for a motion. Thank you, Council President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And that, that resolution is adopted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Mr. Decker, please read the title of Councilwoman. Did you need to be recognized? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I apologize for the delay. Please record me as voting aye on all bills and resolutions I may have missed. Thank, Thank you. you. The record shall reflect Councilwoman Gilmore Richards voted aye on the two resolutions. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, Mr. Decker, 230-458. A resolution calling for the creation of a community, temple, safety partnership zone, and a response resource task force as recommended in the 21CP Solutions Audit entitled Recommendations for Community Safety at Temple University and the Temple University Police Department which would collaborate with the City of Philadelphia and neighborhood stakeholders to work toward safer neighborhoods for Temple University and all surrounding communities. Chair recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. On your behalf, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. Mr. Decker, 230-465. A resolution authorizing the Philadelphia Land Bank to dispose of 372 and 702 Cantrell Street, 613, 625, and 723 Mercy Street, 737 Tree Street, 535, 537, and 602 Winton Street, located in the 1st Councilmanic District. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Bass for a motion on the resolution. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. Mr. Decker, 230-466. A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority deeds conveying fee simple title to 2335 and 2337 North 6th Street in the 7th Councilmanic District. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Lozada for a motion. Put it move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. Mr. Decker, 230-470. A resolution urging the administration to pursue comprehensive qualitative and quantitative efforts to improve access to good paying jobs in the city of Philadelphia. Chair recognizes Councilman Harity for a motion. Thank you, Council President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. 
Mr. Decker, 230250. An ordinance amending ordinance bill number 190935 approved by the mayor on December 18, 2019 to authorize the refunding of additional series of outstanding general obligation bonds, authorizing the purchase by the city of Philadelphia from time to time of any of its outstanding general obligation debt, authorizing the amendment, novation, or termination from time to time of any agreement to manage interest costs incurred in connection with the city of Philadelphia's general obligation debt, Further amending said ordinance bill number 190935 to authorize the payment by the city of Philadelphia from proceeds of general obligation refunding bonds of any required settlement payments and related required amounts in connection with the termination of any such agreements. Thank you. This bill had been read on two different days. I'm sorry. The question now, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Brooks. Councilman Driscoll. Aye. Councilwoman Gaudier. Aye. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Aye. Councilman Harrity. Aye. Councilman Johnson. Aye. Councilman Jones. Aye. Councilwoman Lozada. Aye. Councilman Phillips. Aye. Councilman Squilla. Aye. Councilman Thomas. Aye. Council President Clark. All right, ours are 12, nays are zero. Majority of members present voted in the firm that the bill passed. Mr. Decker, 230-276. An ordinance to approve a major amendment to the Holy Family University Master Plan related to the Welcome Center and an athletic field structure in the area bounded by Grant Avenue, Frankfurt Avenue, Carteret Drive, St. Dennis Drive Extended, the Book Crescent Creek, and the Delaware Expressway. Thank you. This bill hasn't been read on two different days. The question now, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Brooks. Councilman Driscoll. Councilwoman Gaudier. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Councilman Harrity. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Councilwoman Lozada. Councilman Phillips. Councilman Squilla. Councilman Thomas. Council President Clark. Aye. Ayes are 12, nays are 0. Majority of members present. Vote in. Affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 230-308. An ordinance amending section 14502 of the Philadelphia Code entitled CTR Center City Overlay District by amending the South Street Head House Square area. This bill had been read on two different days. The question now, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Brooks. Councilman Driscoll. Councilwoman Gardier. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Aye. Councilman Harrity. Aye. Councilman Johnson. Aye. Councilman Jones. Aye. Councilwoman Lozada. Aye. Councilman Phillips. Aye. Councilman Squilla. Aye. Councilman Thomas. Aye. Council President Clark. All right, ayes are 12, the nays are zero. Majority of members present. Voting in affirms that the bill passes. Mr. Decker, 230-318. An ordinance to amend Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code by revising certain provisions of Chapter 14500 entitled Overlay Zoning Districts by creating the EOD East Poplar Overlay District. This bill had been read on two different days. The question now, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Brooks. Councilman Driscoll. Councilwoman Gaudier. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Councilman Harrity. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones, Aye. Councilwoman Lozada, Aye. Councilman Phillips, Aye. Councilman Squilla, Councilman Thomas, Aye. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 12, the nays are zero. Majority of members present. Vote in affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 230-319. An ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code by revising Section 14.524 entitled FDO 4th District Overlay District to extend the, bound the boundaries of certain areas. Thank you. This bill had been read on two different days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Brooks. Councilman Driscoll. Councilwoman Gaudier. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Councilman Harrity. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Councilwoman Lozada, Councilman Phillips, Aye. Councilman Squilla, Councilman Thomas, Aye. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 12, the nays are zero. Majority of members present, voting in firm that the bill passes. Mr. Decker, 230, 322. 
an ordinance amending Chapter 14500 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Overlay Zoning Districts to modify the area subject to Section 14534 entitled AHP, Affordable Housing Preservation Overlay District. This bill has been read on two different days. The question now, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Aye. Councilwoman Brooks. Aye. Councilman Driscoll. Aye. Councilwoman Gardier. Aye. Councilwoman Gilmer Richardson. Councilman Harrity, Aye. Councilman Johnson, Aye. Councilman Jones, Aye. Councilwoman Lozada, Aye. Councilman Phillips, Aye. Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilman Thomas, Aye. Council President Clark. All right, ayes are 12, nays are zero, majority of members present, voting in affirms that the bill passed. Mr. Decker, 230-323. An ordinance amending section 14533 of the Philadelphia Code entitled MIN, Mixed Income Neighborhoods Overlay District, to create a mechanism for satisfying certain use standards related to the construction of affordable housing in the portion of the MIN Overlay District located in the third councilmanic district. Thank you. This bill has been read on two different days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Brooks. Councilman Driscoll. Councilwoman Gaudier, Aye. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson, Aye. Councilman Harrity, Aye. Councilman Johnson, Aye. Councilman Jones, Aye. Councilwoman Lozada, Aye. Councilman Phillips, Aye. Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilman Thomas, Aye. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 12, nays are zero. Majority of members present, voting in affirmative. Mr. Decker, you have any additional resolutions? A resolution recognizing June 2023 as Black Music Month in the city of Philadelphia, introduced today by Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Thank you, Council President. I move the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. This resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring the life and legacy of Ted Sillery for his lifelong dedication to the city of Philadelphia's athletic community as a high school sports reporter introduced today by Councilman Thomas. Chair recognizes Councilman Thomas. Thank you, Council President. Thank you, colleagues. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved to property second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring and congratulating the restaurant Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Chef Shutatip Nok Suntaranon of Kalea and restaurateur Ellen Yin for being named 2023 James Beard Award winners introduced today by Councilman Thomas. She again recognizes Councilman Thomas. Thank you, Council President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved to property second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, motion carries. And a resolution honoring and congratulating Philadelphia native Kristen Walker for being named the next moderator of the legendary Sunday morning show, Meet the Press, introduced today by Councilman Thomas. Chair again recognizes Councilman Thomas. Thank you, Council President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and motion carries. And a resolution congratulating Philadelphia Soccer 2026 and FIFA for the unveiling of its official branding, We Are 26. Introduced today by Councilman Jones. Chair recognizes Councilman Jones. I move for the adoption. Can I get a second? Second. <laughs> right, second. So, it's okay. It's moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring Leslie Mason, principal of Thomas Mifflin Elementary School on the occasion of her retirement, introduced today by Councilman Jones. Chair again recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption. Second. It's been moved to property second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And that resolution is adopted. And a resolution authorizing the City Council Committee on Public Safety to hold public hearings to examine the use of face masks, also known as poo shysties as well as oversized bandanas and ski masks during the commission of crime and to examine strategies to combat this threat. We have a demonstration by Councilman Harrity. <laughs> I saw you over there. Chair recognizes Councilman Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption. Second. It's been moved to probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. 
Those opposed, ayes have it, and the motion carries. And a resolution authorizing the City Council Committee on Education to hold public hearings examining parent universities and their potential impact on student education in Philadelphia, introduced today by Councilman Jones. Chair, again, recognize Councilman Jones. Well, that is co cool. sponsored by Member Thomas. I move for the adoption. Second. It's been moved to property. Second, all in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and motion carries. And a resolution recognizing the week of June 5 through June 9, 2023 as Union Organizing Week in Philadelphia in honor of those who have fought and continue to fight on behalf of workers' rights to organize and bargain collectively. Introduced today by Councilman Johnson. Chair recognize Councilman Johnson. Thank you, Council President. Um, I enthusiastically um, move for the adoption of this resolution. My dad was a lifelong member of Local 332. My nana was also a lifelong member of District Council 1199C, and so I was raised on union wages and understand the importance of organized labor, not only in the city of Philadelphia, but also America. And so with that being said, I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved to property second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring John Stephen Clark for his acceptance into all five military service academies and, enrol and enrolling at the United States Air Force Academy, introduced today by Councilman Harrity and Councilman O'Neill. Chair, recognize Councilman Harrity. Sorry, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Is that the one I'm doing? It's been moved and properly second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring and congratulating the Central High School Robotics Team, the Robo Lancers, on winning the first Impact Award, the highest honor in FIRST Robotics, introduced today by Councilwoman Gaudier. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Gaudier. Thank you, Council President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring and congratulating the Philadelphia Masonic Temple on its 150th anniversary celebrations and the rededication of its historic building, introduced today by Councilman Squilla. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption. <laughs> it's been moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. There are no other bills or resolutions. There are no other resolutions on the final passage calendar, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Chair recognize Councilman Jones for a motion to recess. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I move that council stand at recess until 2 p.m. today. Thank you. Thank you. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. Um, thank you very much. We will see you all in the committee of the whole uh, shortly.